We're all excited to see the Switch 2, and you might think you've heard everything about it. But what if I told you there's a new feature that you haven't heard of yet? Yes, there's behind the scenes empirical data that we can't ignore of a new exciting game changing feature that was just discovered that even Sony and Microsoft don't have. And all signs are pointing to Nintendo using this massive feature on the Switch 2 to solve the biggest problem they've had with the Switch. Now, we already know about the bigger 8-inch display, 12 gigabytes of RAM, and the DLSS 4K upscaling. But the big tech upgrade that we're going to focus on today has nothing to do with the display or processing power. It has everything to do with solving one of the biggest problems Nintendo has been plagued with on the Switch since its launch. This major issue that we're talking about here has had major lawsuits filed over it. Nintendo's been forced to comment on it. It's been happening in multiple countries and in multiple manufacturing runs. And it didn't even matter if it was the original Switch, OLED, or Switch Lite version. That's right, as most of you have guessed by now, we're talking about the dreaded stick drift that has haunted Nintendo Switch since day one. Not every Switch Joy-Con has had this issue, but many, many have and still do. Stick drifting has been a massive problem where the control sticks after just normal use and sometimes just right outside of the box. If it's right outside of the box, obviously you should get your warranty claim in, and in many countries like right here in North America in the US, you can even get your Joy-Cons fixed well outside of the warranty, even four and five years after it in some cases. Nintendo recognizes this is a big deal because they're fixing it even though it's costed them a significant amount of money in repairs. It's almost like a fatal design flaw, although Nintendo has won a lawsuit that tried to argue that it was a fatal design flaw. The solution to this annoying stick drift problem comes from a new patent that was filed online from Nintendo's partner. This partner is the original accessory manufacturer and producer of the joystick that we have in the Joy-Con we're using today. And what's exciting about this is this will completely eradicate the dreaded stick drift that we have been so sick of for years now. Before we talk about this patent, there are a few solutions for those of you who are still experiencing stick drift problems with your current Switch Joy-Con. You can contact Nintendo to file a warranty claim for them to replace your Joy-Con controller, which will take some time. Another option that some of you may have tried, like I have, is putting a solution of rubbing alcohol and water in the stick swivel. But make sure the Joy-Con's power is off for this one. The solution is mixed where half of it is rubbing alcohol and the other half is water. After a couple drops have been inserted, you move the stick around to distribute the solution throughout the swivel, and you wait for the solution to dry. After this, the dreaded stick drift will probably go away till dust and other things build up and it happens again. Though this has worked for me again and again, the stick drift does come back from time to time, and sometimes only after a few months. But a permanent solution that actually uses a similar technology to the patent that I'll show you soon has is to purchase a controller that has a magnetic hull sense stick, like some of the controllers that you can get from Gamify or Nixie. Now, I'm not a sponsor of these products, but I do have affiliate links to a few of these controllers that have this no drift hull sense technology, and some of them are on sale right now. As an affiliate, I'll get a small commission if you purchase one. You can find links to these controllers in the description below. Now the patent I've been hinting at that will eliminate the stick drift problem for the Switch 2 comes from the same manufacturer that Nintendo used for their Switch Joy-Con controllers, the Hoseidon Corp. This company filed a patent before the Switch came out about the sticks inside the Joy-Con that was filed in 2015 that Nintendo later joined as a co-applicant. There was also another patent tied to it in 2016 by, again, the Hoseidon Corporation. And this was essentially for the Joy-Con control stick as we know it today. If you've ever broken down a Joy-Con control stick, you would see that this is pretty much identical to what the final control stick was for the Joy-Con. Now, we need to pay attention to this Hoseidon Corporation because they are who Nintendo has been using to manufacture their control sticks. And just like how they filed patents about the Switch's control stick, 
before the Switch came out, and Nintendo later came on as a co-applicant, Hoseidon has recently filed more patents, again, about a new control stick that Nintendo will obviously join in again later when they finally announce this feature in the Switch 2. The first patent shown here and filed by, of course, the Hoseidon Corporation that was filed a couple of years ago but granted earlier this year shows the design for the control stick. The biggest thing that stands out from these patents and how they're different from the Switch's Joy-Con sticks is that these are actually magnet controlled sticks, like the hall sensing control sticks I mentioned earlier in this video. Just as this hall sensing or magnet technology would be a solution for the Switch stick drift issue if you bought the third party Switch controllers I mentioned, this hall sensing technology will fix the drifting issue once and for all for the Switch 2 as well. Assuming Nintendo will still use the Hoseidon Corporation for their next gen controllers like they did with the Switch, this heavily suggests that the Switch 2 will use this no drift magnet technology for their control sticks. If you like what you've seen so far, make sure you subscribe so you won't miss out on anything. The other patents the Hoseidon Corporation filed are very similar with different formats and visuals of the same hall sensing technology being used in a control stick. Commenting on these patents, user FWD-BWD, otherwise known as Forward Backward, posted on FamilyBoards.com saying that these newer patents will cover accuracy improvement, height reduction, and push in support for a magnetic input stick. This user further commented about how these patents coming out before the Switch 2 are similar to the patents Hoseidon filed for the Joy-Con before the Switch and asks, is history repeating itself? All signs point to this happening again. If you want to look at this information yourself, I have links to this post and all of these patents in the description below. As much as we would like to have a bigger display, 12GB of RAM, and DLSS 4K upscaling, this is one of the biggest advantages of the Switch 2 because it finally solves the biggest issue that the Switch has had, and I might add what many consoles have had as well, stick drift. As everyone has been wondering what Nintendo would do about their stick drift issue, this is it. And what's interesting about this is that not even Microsoft or Sony have these magnet hull sensing sticks in the first party controllers for their newest Xbox and PlayStation consoles. Granted, their controllers haven't been plagued with as much stick drift as Switch Joy-Cons have been known to have, they still can get stick drift after so much use. And I've had stick drift issues with my own Xbox controllers too. Magnetic no drift control sticks are a game changer and I'm excited to play the Switch 2 with this no drift technology so I can finally enjoy my games without the frustration stick drift has caused me in the past. What are your thoughts on this no drift stick feature of the Switch 2? And are you as excited as I am to play out of this world games on the Switch 2 this next year? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching Alcantar Gaming. If you like this video, you're gonna love this one here.